I have a problem. I am an addict. To purple eyeshadows. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, first off, I apologize for the entire video. I am basically complaining the whole time. And I'm sorry, but if you guys would like to see this review on the Kylie Cosmetics Chill Baby Palette, I have a review for you to watch. But also make sure you're wearing earmuffs so your ears don't bleed from my annoying voice. Not only is this a review, this is my very first time ever using any Kylie product ever because I just never got the hype. I never felt, ooh, I really need this in my life from any of her products. And it's not that I don't like them, it's just that none of her products excited me to the point of where I felt like I should drop a huge amount of money on any of her lip products, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes. I know there's diehard Kylie fans out there and this is just my opinion. I am one in millions of people who probably have tried her products. Such a negative video, just stop watching now. So this is the Chill Baby palette. I was so excited to use this, especially this Mrs. Claus color here. Oh, I was so excited for this. It was beautiful, it's so soft, and oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, the shimmers are beautiful, but they are flaky, they're chalky. The mattes are so powdery, there's so much kickback in the pan, and some of these were just so difficult to blend. I, I just had a lot of issues with this palette. All in all, it's it's not for me. Kylie Cosmetics is just not for me, unless maybe they change their formula at some point. I don't see myself ever using another one, except I do have two. But I'm going into the next palette with a completely, you know, blank attitude, like I've never used the product before, because it is a new palette, and I know this palette didn't work for me, but this palette might work for other people, and I also love this color variety, by the way. I think it's beautiful. I can see so many looks just staring at this as of right now. So many festive looks. So uh, kudos and a thumbs up for the actual like color selection. I think they're beautiful. These colors are really beautiful. Um, I especially loved this dark purple shade here and kind of this army khaki green color. Like, those are so interesting, and I don't have those in my collection anywhere. But other than that, the, the quality of the palette and the amount of time it took me to create something that I didn't even like in the end, it just, it's just irritating. It's just, it kind of lets you down. I know it's just makeup, and you can just wash it off, but when you put your time and effort and money into something, and it just lets you down, you're, you're gonna be irritated, so if you don't wanna see me complain, just don't watch the rest of this video. But if you wanna see this look and you think it looks semi-decent, then here you go. But also the package is pretty. Look at the package, it's sparkly and I like sparkly. But also it's blue and I was expecting a blue and there's no blue, so that's all I have to say. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> Bailey Dawn, this shout out is for you because I did your fishtail braid, even though it actually looks like a regular braid, because I completely forgot how to do a fishtail braid. I butchered it. And um, this is this hairstyle's for you. Uh, if you would like to see me do any hairstyle, I will give you a shout out in a future video. And I am filming a lot for the month of December, so you're probably gonna get a shout out here soon. So I want you to pick a hairstyle and if I choose your hairstyle for my next video, I will give you a shout out. But Bailey Dawn, this is your fishtail braid. I had to cover half of it with a little uh, fake flower because it looked jacked up, kind of like my makeup look today. Let's start with this eye look. I'm gonna start with my transition shade and the one I'm going in with is Cuddle Season, which is this pink one right here. 
All right, on me, this pink shade is actually pulling more purple. Um, that's just uh, my face, though. My skin tone likes to turn colors different colors. So in the palette, this is kind of like a really beautiful, super light pink. Okay, this color is just chill. And this is not as powdery. This one is not as powdery, so that's great. And I am just taking this right below cuddle season. I really love these colors, by the way. Like, I'm already in the Christmassy mood, but these are just like, yes. Don't you love it when you lose your brushes? It's the best. I am taking cuddle season, that pink. Woo! And I am just gonna go ahead and start smoking out this lower lash line here. And what we're doing on the top, we're also gonna do on the bottom to mimic the colors. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and cut my crease because I've gotten this basic uh, shape down, my ring stuck in my hair. <gasps> um, and to cut my crease, I'm using the P. Louise base. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with this really beautiful purple called Hello Winter, and it is like straight up dark plum. And I am going to start deepening up that inner and the outer corners with this. The one thing I noticed about this color is it looks so completely different on my eyelid than it does in this pan. This pan is a beautiful, rich plum, and on my eye, it's it looks like a bruise, which was really annoying because I don't want to look like I just got punched in the eye, and it's, it's a very difficult color to blend. It's like you put it there, and it doesn't move. So I don't know if you guys are able to see. Let me zoom in so you guys can see, actually probably what I should have done. So can you see how this is not a plummy purple? Let me hold this up. It is pulling a lot darker and a lot more blue purple, which is looking like a bruise. I know I should have done this with the first impressions, you guys, and just did my eye as an actual first impression, but it just completely slipped my mind. And now you guys get me in a bad mood because I had so many difficulties trying to create this look. Uh, that's not gonna happen again, I promise. First impressions, no eye look will be done. I promise. It will be a legitimate first impression. I mean, even though I only did this eye look over here 10 minutes ago, and don't worry you guys, this looks like a hot mess. It'll look slightly better, <laughs> but just slightly. <laughs> it's purple here, and then Hello Winter. And I just had to softly blend this out. At this point, I just look like I don't know how to do makeup. I'm gonna come back in about three hours once this is blended. I mean, I just created a look here if you guys wanna see this video, and I, that blended like butter. That palette is $16, and it blended so easy. I just feel let down, you guys. This was so much money. This was such a waste of money. And it's Christmas time, and I've lost my brush, and I just keep getting more and more irritated. Now I'm going in with Plum Pudding, which is this burgundy shade here. And I'm just going to start putting that right here and here so we can create that halo effect in the center. So 
So, Mrs. Claus is what I am going in with for the halo effect, and I did spray it with some Fix Plus. And I kind of created like this V shape to put this in. And this color is really beautiful. This was the one shade in this entire palette that I um, was really excited to use. And this is one of the shades that did not let me down. This shade makes me happy in my soul. So, we're getting a little happier. Now I'm going in with the inner corner, and I'm going in with Jingle Baby, which is this really pretty pink. And, okay, you guys, so first impression, I mean, this is fine. Everything is very powdery. The quality of the palette itself seems fairly cheap. Like, the pans aren't even even. They're not, they're like sitting on top. They're not even like all the way in. It's, it just, I feel like it's just cheaply made. And as you saw, some of the colors were very difficult to blend. I mean, the shimmers are fine, but there's a ton of fallout. Okay, so let me just put on lashes, mascara, and I'll be right back. We'll do the rest of the face. I gotta get happier, y'all. What do I do? I need to drink wine real quick. All right, you guys. So I have the eye look finished. I am not putting on fake lashes. It, it doesn't look good enough for fake lashes. It looks good enough to take off right after this video. That's what it looks good enough for. All right, let's finish the rest of the face before I lose all of my subscribers from my horrible attitude. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I am going in with the Tarte Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And I love Tarte Blush, so this will make me happy. But Tarte Blushes do not let me down. This is just a really light pink, just a little kiss of color. And that is not a kiss that is pigmented. Just kidding. Gonna have to blend that out. Oh, okay, that's that's bright. Huh, oops. Okay, now I'm going in with highlighter, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Botanic Dream. And this is really pretty. It's kind of got like a, a purple-pink shift. That's pretty. Oh, that is... Woo! Wet n Wild is not playing around with their highlighter. Oh, I am purple, but it's okay. I love purple. All right, now I'm going in with the lipstick, and this is the Bite. What is this? Matte Cream Lip Crown, and I think it's pronounced Glossé. And this is just a really pretty kind of neutral, because I don't want to do anything crazy intense at this look pulls in a little bit of like that cranberry color like the undertone of it is is kind of around this color so so this is the final look um if you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you guys did not enjoy it also let me know because my opinion kind of was a bit strong and i apologize but at least you know i am not lying to you so that's all i have and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. Okay, so I was really excited the for well and wow. That is really close cuz it's shaking my house. Unless we're having an earthquake. And this in this empire palette. <laughs> and can you hear my chicken? <laughs> and we'll finish off the rest of this can you hear my chicken? She is so loud. She probably just laid an egg. That's what they do when they lay eggs. Why am I yellow now? Hi. Hi. What's in your hair? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Say bye. Bye.